looking into hiking the Cocoa Crater Railroad Trail in Honolulu, Hawaii. Let me tell you about it. For this hike, I'm betting there are two schools of thought on how to review this hike. I'm in the didn't like it and don't care to ever hike it again group. First of all, this is probably one of the most dangerous and number one most monotonous hikes that Oahu offers. I'm betting this hike is at least in the top five for the most injuries and airlifted rescues on Oahu. There have been multiple news reports of a variety of injuries, most of which are from pretty significant falls. And there's a reason this hike is called the Stairs of Doom. <laughs> Not only do I prefer to take myself and my kids on hikes that are not dangerous, but I prefer hikes that have diversity or something interesting or pretty to see during the hike. The most interesting parts are at the very bottom because the trailhead is close to a military shooting range. And when you first get on the trail, you wonder if you should be ducking because it sounds like you're getting shot at. When you're three-fourths the way up, the train tracks go over the top of a drop-off and has a sign that basically tells you not to enter and offers a side trail known as Murphy's Bypass. The other most interesting part of this trail is at the very top. Obviously the views are spectacular at the very top but everything in between from the top to the bottom is pretty miserable. <laughs> I acknowledge the outliers who like this hike. I don't understand why anyone would like this hike unless they are looking for a good stair workout. There were a few people who were running up and down the stairs which is not very safe and made me understand how people could easily easily have significant falls down this hike. I can understand the temptation to run down the stairs though. It's such a miserable hike that you just want to get it over with. <laughs> The people who enjoy this hike are likely people training for something or want a free stair workout because that's basically what this hike is. Train tracks that go straight up a mountain. And as the mountain gets steeper, the train tracks get closer together and are also higher to step onto. Pack lots of water for this hike. This is a hot hike and there is little to no shade. Plus, there aren't very many convenient stopping places along the trail because you get in the way of other hikers whenever you stop. Don't take grandma or anyone who doesn't use or like stairs in general on this hike. If you have bad knees, your knees will hate you after this hike. For me, this is one of those one and done hikes. You do it once because others want to do it, so you do it too to say you did it and then never do it again because it wasn't that great. The thought did come to me at one point to just turn around and stop because I could clearly see this hike was a whole lot of the same thing but felt like I needed to finish so that I could accurately label this hike as really being the worst hike I've ever been on. This trail is 1.6 miles long and took our very active and healthy family an hour and a half to do. If that's not an indicator that you shouldn't do this hike, I don't know what is. <laughs>